I always like playing cribbage on a 29 cribbage board. So back 30 years ago I decided wouldn't it be great to have a table and the entire table was a 29 cribbage board. It took me 30 years but I finally figured out how to do it. So this is my 29 cribbage board. You can see how big it is based on my hands. There's 132, I'm sorry, there's uh, 367 holes that I had to drill in here. You can see my pegs, um, they're slightly tapered. I made those in the lathe, they're actually square or, or parallel and then tapered. So they fit in the hole real nice without much wiggle. What I did, and they took a picture of an actual 29 cribbage board and they blew it up. I found out that it really was very bad as far as the spacing. It almost looked like someone had done this by hand and not programmed on a, a, like a CNC machine. So I went through and marked every line all the way around, made sure it's equally spaced between here, marked the center of every hole. That took about eight hours to go through and mark all 367 holes. Then I taped this down to the board and took a center punch and punched the center of every hole. And then I took a small drill press, a portable one, and went through, it had a little drill stop, and drilled all the holes. This marking in here is pinstriping for, for cars. These letters are, they're called transfer letters. You can buy them online. Uh, what happens is you put the whole sheet down and then you rub the letter you want off and it sticks to the wood. The cards, I downloaded these pictures, the graphics of the cards, uh, from online, there's some uh, share, shareware files that were vector graphics so you can blow them up as big as you wanted. So I blew those up, cut them so that the track goes through, and once there was everything on, they're all done, I shellacked it. So now I have my 29 cribbage board. The actual board is the table you play on. And following this video, I'm going to show a time lapse of me drilling all the holes. Oh, and it took me about three days to make this. So if you want me to make you one, it's going to cost a couple thousand dollars. Because it was a lot of work, a lot of time spent. So basically, I don't want to make them for anyone. Unless you're crazy rich and you can't live without one. <laughs>